Welcome to Department in the Spotlight. I'm Captain John Bushy. And I'm Command Master Chief Tisdale. And today we have a special guest star with us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, good afternoon, Skipper. Good afternoon, CMC. Um, PSC Lopez, the Command Admin Chief. Okay, so um, we're going to talk a little bit about admin. Admin's that group of warriors that are uh, doing everything in the background that makes us all be able to, to do our jobs to take care of a bunch of stuff. So how many folks do you have in admin? We have nine personnel working in admin, sir. So um, what are the major tasks that, uh, that you work on on a daily basis? It's the correspondence, evals, um, most of the requests from the uh, tenant commands, mm. like continued logistics support, those extra stuff. Okay. So big things that people uh, put a lot of work into, but you guys do the final preps on those things, things like evals and fit reps, like you said, because just because we've written them doesn't mean that they're ready to go. Admins, the, the group of people that are making sure that they're formatted correctly, that they're ready to go for, for, for your records. Um, they're also the people that are helping with uh, liaising with uh, other commands like um, PSD for pay, pay issues, yes, um, for reenlistments and things like that. So you've got a lot of stuff that's, that's going on in the background that sometimes people take advantage of or, or don't necessarily um, realize how deep, detailed it is until they start in, uh, working with you guys for a lot of the documents. Yes, sir. So, so something you wanted to talk about today was CLS. What's CLS? Continued logistics support, sir. So uh, what does that mean? Uh, it's a request that the military mem members uh, request before they depart from uh, Atsugi, going to another uh, duty station with intermediate uh, duty en route. So one thing you mentioned uh, during your introduction was CLS. So what is CLS? Yes, sir. CLS is continued logistics support. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually, um, sponsor requested that to have their family members stay uh, in Nafa while their kids are in school mm -hmm. and to continue uh, living in the government quarters while they're in intermediate duty. Okay. So um, just to, to clarify a little bit, it's usually something somebody requests when they PCS. Yes, sir. And like you said, they've got schools en route, but they don't want to disrupt the family. Yes, sir. And so they, they get a chance to stay in our family housing and take a take a, uh, the opportunities that we have here, like uh, the, the NEX and the DECA and the other facilities we have, and utilize those, even though the sponsor's not here, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Are there any uh, specific details? I see you got a lengthy document here, um, but any details you'd like to yes, uh, sir. provide um, to the audience? Upon the departure of military or civilian member from Japan on a permanent change of station orders, the sponsor's family member are no longer entitled to the benefits, protection, and privileges offered by uh, status of forces agreement. Mm -hmm. So the loss of SOVA status and loss of uh, benefits, privileges, and protections is a function of SOVA itself. So therefore, it's not waiverable, nor it can be uh, extended by COM now for Japan or COM US Japan. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I know we get a lot of uh, requests for this, especially around the end of the school year as people are starting to, to PCS. We're going straight into PCS season here in not too, too, too distant future. But um, if somebody wanted to look up um, this instruction, wh which one is it again? It's Comnab for Japan instruction 4060.6 November. Okay. And if they need help with that, can they come to, to their own admin or to our admin and we can help them out with that? Yes, sir. They can always come and see me. All right. Well, great. Well, is there anything else you'd like to talk about with admin? Uh, sir, I just want to thank uh, the unsung hero of admin, and there are uh, YN1 Ochoa, YN2 Compton, YN3 Agla, and my MLCs, uh, Ms. Chunko and Ms. Kaysen. Okay. And of course, our admin officer, Mr. Corey Perry. Okay. Well, great. Well, that sounds awesome. I think that's all I've got for this week. CMC, you have anything? No, sir, I don't. All right. Well, that's all we have this week. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.